Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today we focus on number 78 on the list of the top 100 NFL players in 2023. Talanoa Hafunga, safety for the 49ers. First and foremost, let's have a look at his stats. Talanoa Hafunga has only been in the league for a couple of years and he's already on the list. Alright then, I think the, the whole defense for the 49ers has probably earned at least respect around the league if not a, a spot on this list but either way Talanoa Hafunga uh, six foot 200 pounds he plays safety for the 49ers born February 2nd 1999 he's 24 years of age went to USC uh, drafted by the 49ers in the fifth round of the 2021 NFL draft 180th overall and in the second season he's made the list that is incredible okay 17 games played last year bringing his career total to 32 he got four interceptions for 61 yards and a touchdown. Nine passes deflected, two force fumbles, two sacks, 97 combined tackles, 66 solo, 31 assisted, five tackles for loss, three QB hits. And those, my friends, are some really, really impressive stats. He played 96% of all defensive snaps with a total of 1,029. Ran a 4.65 for the 40-yard dash on a pro day. Let's have a look. He plays safety, he's going to put the smack down in, he's going to have absolutely no regard for his own body, and that's what we love. Threw up this name, the 49er safety, Talanoa Bovanga. Don't ask me how to pronounce it. I don't want to say his name wrong, but... Um... What, in case he can't... In, case... <laughs> in case he's got a problem with you? In case he targets you? Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be the same. Talanoa Hafunga. Hufunga? Talanoa. Talanoa. It's got to be from Hawaii, right? Tufunga? Yeah. Something like that. I always freak his name up. Uh, Tufunga? Come on, mate! It starts with an H! Um, too, too low. How you, how you pronounce Tufanga. it? Tufanga. San Francisco? Yeah. Tufunga. Tufunga. Yeah. Tufunga? Are you kidding me? Okay. Jeez. I take that back. Buda Baker, you might have glasses on. You may be stoned as hell, but you got it right. I was going to say something else, but Tufunga is nice, though. Talanoa Tufunga. He's sort of like someone that, that kind of reminds you of a Troy Polamalu outside of the hair, just the way he plays. Yo, the hair sit. Nickname Tough. Talanoa Hufanga is already being compared to some of the game's all-time great safeties. Oh, bro. Oh, oh, mate. Okay, he thought, right, I'm, I'm doing my... Oh, my God. Look at this guy. He's just, he's, he's, he's focusing on the guy around his ankles, right? He's like, yes, I've just gotten through this tackle. Even, just a couple more steps, a couple more high strides, and I'll get through this tackle and, and I'll be off. But no, 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 no. Talanoa's got different ideas. Very <laughs> If you give any little tail, he's going to know what you're running. He's going to be in the right place at the right time. A guy who's... Very physical, very aggressive. Attack the ball. You get an opportunity to attack the ball. Oh. See, when you when you when you think of a guy who's two hundred pounds, you think, you know, the weights that we've been seeing thus far, he's, he's a good thirty pounds less than most NFL players, right? But you combine that. It doesn't matter what weight you are. You combine aggression with speed and a disregard for your own safety, and um, you're talking about a human missile. Yeah, with a just like that. He's been playing the ball, been making great hits, making sacks, fumbles. He's a sure tackler, and he also gets that ball as well. What? Bruh! I saw uh, on film, there was a... Okay, there was a lot going on there. I'm not going to try and break it down. A screen, and he jumped it, and... Get for six. Stafford gonna throw out. Right. Intercepted and coming back the other way. Let's have a look at his speed. Cooper Cup does his best. Stafford has absolutely no shot. He just jumped it like he just knew it was coming. I'm gonna hop. Let's have a look at this. And sneak right in front of your receiver. Okay. Steal this from Cooper Cup. Alright, so he's got ability, he's got decision making ability, right? He backs himself. And when we put him on a rugby field, that's gonna be quite an important trait. What a great play 
say by Ufunga. The guy's just been everywhere. The guy's, you know, he's been amazing. He's been playing lights out. In just his second season, Ufunga was named first team all pro. You're fucking joking me. Is, is that because the 49ers had so much success last year? I mean, it, it seems like that's similar to like, uh, you know, super rugby, right? Super rugby competition. If a particular team, aka possibly the Canterbury Crusaders, does extremely well, the majority of their players are going to get picked for the All Blacks because that team just gels together really, really well. And they're going to have to play together again at the representative level. That's not the case in American football, but man, in your second year. I'm surprised he wasn't further up the list. And it sure feels like it won't be his last time. Oh, he's got a wee sidestep too. 100. Here we go, what's going to happen here? Intercepted by Talanoa. Okay, so that was his second interception. With a return of around about eight yards, which makes sense. That means his pick for a touchdown was 52 yards. Ah, oh, Williams. Yes, boy. He hits, plays the ball. I think he had four or five picks. Um, plays the ball extremely well. I think he's only in his second year in the league, so he's going to be a great player for a long time. It was just a matter of time, you know, before he, you know, found himself and really, you know, stepped into stardom. Good game, my boy. Congratulations, bro. On all pro and pro, bro, right? All which one? All pro? Both? Yes, boy. Gee whiz, what a career he's had already and what a career he has to look forward to. Second year in the league. All the best, mate. Fantastic set of hair. The comparisons between yourself and Polamalu are probably just going to continue to come. He could do well with putting on another 10 pounds, I'm going to say. He looks, mm, I'm not going to say light out there, but he does look slight in his build. I'm going to say, I'm going to say get up to about 210. 210 in the off season, losing no pace, adding strength, and uh, just, just, you know, he's only 24 years of age, right? He's, he's, he's still not by any means in his athletic prime. So I'm going to say, I mean, you'd want to stay lean, but yeah, six foot 210. Either way, we are going to look at his stats at six foot and 200 pounds with the aggression that he shows, being that he plays safety, being that he does have that ability to make a split second decision. I'm going to put him in at fullback. You know, when I first found out about what a safety did, when I first tried to read and sort of work out in my mind what they did. I likened it to a fullback because a fullback is like a safety. It's like a it's like a sweeper. You know, you, you sweep up the mess. If they break through the first line and even possibly the second line, you're there as the last line of defense or one of the last lines of defense to um to make that tackle. And tackling tackle he does. You know what I mean? You don't the last thing you want is to put someone in at fullback who, if they are called upon to make that last ditch tackle they don't really have the ability or they don't have the aggression or they're not willing to put their body on the line because there are a few fullbacks like that. You know, they're, they're great with the ball in hand, but when it comes to tackling, not so much. Talanoa Hafunga or AKA Talanoa Tafunga, I would place quite confidently at fullback. He's got to be able to kick the ball. We haven't really seen too much of that, uh, but he, he has to run it as well. And with a 40 yard dash of 465, you know, he's not ridiculously quick but he's certainly not slow at the same time that's my choice let me know what you'd do down in the comment section below either way in the next one we are looking at none other than geno smith quarterback for the seahawks who had a, an incredible year last year and uh, i'm not going to try and quote any stats but being that russell wilson left the seahawks geno smith came in um did they call him like the the backup quarterback of the year. I don't know, something like that. Either way, time will tell. Let's get into it. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you in the next one.